Hi, I'm Larry Maggot of ConnectSafely.org, and this video is about Facebook's advanced privacy settings. Don't let the word advanced scare you off. Customizing Facebook's privacy settings isn't all that hard, and if you follow the tips in this video, you'll find that you have a great deal of control over most of the information that you post on Facebook. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to remove and control applications, block content for specific people, create lists or groups that can see specific content, and how to limit access to specific photos, posts, and other media. Facebook's new simplified privacy controls do make it easier, but you also have the power to customize your privacy settings, and this gives you a lot more power over who can see what. Kind of like that famous hamburger chain, you can have it your way. You get to your Privacy Settings page by clicking on the Account link on the upper right corner of any Facebook page. Then click Privacy Settings. If you've installed any applications on Facebook, you can review them and you can delete any ones you don't want. You do that under the Applications and Websites section at the bottom of your Privacy Settings page. Click on Edit Your Settings and you'll see the applications that are installed. For example, I have 39. I can click Remove Unwanted Applications and then I'll see a list of them. So, for example, let's say I decide to get rid of Safety Web. Nothing wrong with it, but I don't want it at the moment. I click on that, I remove Selected, and it's gone. Now, there's another more powerful, but in some sense more dangerous option called Turn Off All Platform Applications. If you click on this and you do Select All, you will eliminate all of your applications. But think about this before you do it. If you've invested any money in an application or you've earned a certain level in a game, and you turn them all off, they're all gone. So I recommend you probably not do this, but if you are going to do it, give some thought before you click Turn Off Platform. There are several other application settings that you ought to look at. So again, going back into Edit Your Settings under Applications and Websites, look at Game and Application Settings, who can see your recent activity on their games and application dashboards, and again, you control that like everything else. The information that's accessible through your friends' uh, applications. Control what information is available to applications and websites when your friends use them. And that's very important because you might want to limit that. And you can using this screen. So you get rid of your bio, your birthday, any other information you want to get rid of. Very powerful. We already talked about instant personalization and, of course, public search. Show a preview of your Facebook profile when people look for you using a search engine. And you can control that. Uh, you can go uh, to Enable Public Search, which is a default, or you can click this right here, and you've disabled it. Confirm, and you're no longer accessible via search engines. There are ways that you can control the specific people who can or can't see almost anything you post on Facebook. So go to Customize Settings, and this time on that familiar drop-down box, click Customize, and then click Specific People. And at this point, you can start typing in the names of people who you want to be able to see this, and you can even start typing in the names of people you want to block it from. When it comes to privacy, one of the most useful features is the ability to create lists of friends. For example, you could create a list of your fraternity buddies and share certain information with them, or perhaps another list of people you go to church with, and they might get an entirely different set of information. To create a list, you first go to your home page, and then you click on the word Friends. Then click on Create a List. Give the list a name, and then select the people that you want to be on it. Click Create a List down here, and you're all set. Now you have the option of making information available just to people on a certain list. So this time you would go into Customize, and when it says Specific People, you would type in the list name. And that way, only those people would get that information. So now we have the basics on how to control who has access to certain types of information. But you can also control who has access to specific information, such as status updates, posts, photographs, videos, or just about anything else that you might post on Facebook. For example, let's say John invited me to a party, but I only want certain people to know about it and not others. I could do a status update, going to a party at John's house, and I could share that with specific people. For example, I could go to Customize and type in the particular groups of people 
that I might want that to go to. That way, the people that didn't get invited might not have their feelings hurt. And this works with video, pictures, or any other type of content. For example, I typed in a status update saying, here's me with my new banjo, and I want to attach a photo. So I upload the photo from my hard drive, and there it is. And in this case, I can share it just with friends. We've covered some basics, but there's a lot more to explore. So go to the bottom of any Facebook page and click on the word Privacy. That brings you to Facebook's Privacy Guide, where you can find the latest information from the company, including information on any privacy updates. I'm Larry Maggot of ConnectSafely.org, where every day we have information on Internet safety, security, and privacy for kids, teens, and sometimes adults. Please join us online at www.connectsafely.org.